it is Nicole Skies and welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and become a member of the Sky Squad. If you are already subscribed, be sure to click that bell right next to the subscribe button. It looks something like this. After you have turned on notifications, comments, unicorns in the comment section down below and I will try to like or reply to your comment. So school is right around the corner. Oh my God. You either love it or you hate it. When I was a kid, I hated this time of year. Whenever I walked into the store and I saw that school stuff was out, I walked right back out of the store. So to make school a little bit more bearable, I will be showing you a bunch of back to school DIYs. So keep watching. This is an eraser. So kind of dumb now. So to make a hubba bubba gum eraser, you are going to need E6000 glue. I bought this at a craft store, and you can only use this glue. Other glues will not work. Then I added some acrylic paint in the color pink eraser. How convenient. Add a little bit to your glue and then mix it in. Now you need to let this sit for 24 hours. After it's been 24 hours, your glue should feel a little bit tacky, but not too sticky. Also, if it's just too sticky, add some cornstarch. That will help a lot. I rolled it into a ball and then I rolled it flat. Cut off the excess on the side so that you have nice straight lines. And then cut down the middle and make your strips of eraser gum. Then just roll the eraser up and it's starting to look like the gum. Oh my gosh. Now my eraser gum ended up being a little bit too thick so I did cut it and actually I think cutting it made it look way cooler. It looks like a mini bubble tape. So whenever you need an eraser, just pull a little bit of the eraser out, shut the lid, and boom, there's an eraser. All you have to do is roll it up into a ball, and guys, the best part, oh my gosh, okay, hold on. It actually works. binder pillow all you're going to need is a hefty one gallon bag hot glue it to your binder add in your Orbeez I ended up using 2,000 Orbeez and then add some water and literally wait a couple hours and boom your Orbeez notebook pillow is done This is awesome because when you're tired and you feel like taking a nap and you're tired of listening to the teacher talk, you have an instant built-in pillow. You also have something to play with and squish when the teacher is going on and on about boring stuff. Fidget spinners are banned! 
It's a pencil sharpener. Oh, it's a sharpener? I guess that's okay. So to make your fidget spinner pencil sharpener, you are going to need a fidget spinner that has a wide enough opening in the gear space in the middle. I'm showing you two different types because one of them is too small, but the other one actually fits absolutely perfect for a pencil to go through. The red one is victorious. Pop off the other side's finger pad and then all you have to do is literally glue along the bearings a pencil sharpener. Then just to make it extra sturdy, I hot glued around the edges of the pencil sharpener to the spinner. And this was literally so cool because all I had to do was spin my fidget and it would sharpen my pencil. Okay, this is white out. So don't make fun of me, but the brush part of my nail polish actually broke off. Um, I'll tell you how in a minute. <laughs> so to make white out nail polish, it's actually super easy as you would imagine. Pour out the nail polish in your container, clean it out very well, and this is actually when my brush broke off. I was cleaning it in the sink and my brush broke off. I tried to hot glue it and it just didn't work out. So, so that's why there's no brush. Then all you have to do is add your white out and boom. You have, hopefully yours looks better than mine, a white out nail polish container. actually is so cool. I wish I had all these hacks when I was in school. All you're gonna need is a mascara tube, pop the inside plastic part out, make sure you wash your mascara out really good, pop open the back of the Crayola pen, pull out the tip of the pen, make sure your ink cartridge is around the same size as your mascara tube, and all you have to do is put the ink cartridge inside of the tube. I did add a little hot glue to the end of the cartridge just to make sure it would stick a little bit, and then push in your marker tip. Now for the lid, all you have to do is break off the mascara wand, it actually is not that hard. And that is literally it, oh my gosh, this was so cool, and it, I just, I love this one. to make this color changing sequence binder. All I did was go to my fabric store, Joann's to be exact, and I found this fabric. They actually sell this. Place your notebook over the fabric and then trace along the edges. Then I went ahead and cut along the lines, and this is somewhat messy. These sequins, when you cut, you just like snip right through them and it gets everywhere, not gonna lie. Then all you have to do is hot glue it onto your binder and that is it! Oh my god! So easy. enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to leave a like also let me know in the comments down below what your favorite DIY I made today was all right I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video bye I never could see myself as a teacher